too. Yep. Okay, then you'll pull your vehicle up. Okay. Tighten the pin. Okay. Yep, we're going to tighten the pin. This is uh, the collar, so it won't let it go again. Okay. Let's tighten the collar, put the pin you back can in. You put the pin in before. Okay. It's kind of scary the first time you put that up there, isn't it, Kim? Because you think, oh, that sounded awful. Well, yeah, I, do, I just. Okay, so it fits in there. I, I don't have it in uh, neutral yet, so I'll okay, have to do yeah, that. Okay. And you undo the straps. You want me to wait on that? I don't have an emergency brake in this thing. That's why. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It ain't going. Yeah, and I'll just. Yeah. Okay, I'll just go ahead and put it in. So we have to repack the bearings on this after 2,000 miles, apparently. Yeah, they got bearing buddies, so you just what pull that, that little mean? black cover off the center of them. Okay. And then there'd be a little grease circ in there. This tire over here looks a little low, unless it's supposed to look that way. Okay, we're going to hook this back here. Yep. Okay. Put it over the center. Okay. So the idea is to make sure this strap is up at the top. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought too. All right. Then you put it over both sides. Okay. Kim, do you have the you have the air compressor or anything? This looks a little bit low. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. I mean, it's supposed to be around 65. It's kind of low. How do you see that? You see that? Well, when I look at that tire and look at the other one, this seems a little bit low. I don't have a tire. I got one up in the shop. Okay. Um, it says in I the instructions. Yeah, it just looks okay. like 65. I think it's close. All right, so I've lost what I was doing here. So okay, you, so you so thread you it through there. through there. Right. You got a wrench here. Okay. I don't want to slide that over to the middle. Right in the, the middle of the tire, okay. correct? Okay. Yep. I do remember that. So that's something I'll need to practice with you on is to do that. For sure. Yeah, that's Yep. Does this need to be kind of in the middle too, though? Yes, it yeah. does. It kind of does not, so... Okay. Well, the thing is, the straps are new. As soon as they get broke in, the wheels will be broken. Okay. Yeah, the, the instructions said that too, Kim, that the, okay. Okay. the straps would really uh, loosen up after a while. Like maybe 100 miles or so. Or so. Yeah, I would go and check them every 100 miles. Yeah. It does say that. What size wrench is that? Inch and an eighth. Okay, so I need to get an inch and an eighth? No, this is yours. Oh, okay. This comes with it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good.
okay? Feel how snug that is to get an idea how tight. Yeah. I don't have a knife on me. Do you have your knife? Okay. All right. So this has to be kind of up here in the middle at the top. And it, this is this is for the right side. And that's for the yep. Side. Going on a big trip? Yeah, actually, no, we're going not to California. Till November. For not till November. Four months. Yeah. yeah, we're retired, so. I can't wait till I'm retired. <laughs> well, you'll get there. Except you're older. That's the yeah. Well, I feel like it now. <laughs> I got a bulge or a herniated disc. Oh, is that right? Oh, but if I keep shit. hydrated, I'm fine. You pulled on there really well, Kim, because you're kind of right in the middle, too. Yep. Okay, so that's got like three positions in there. I know some of them have like two bars or even one bar underneath there. This one's got three. Okay, so station it that way. Okay. out of his way. You want to try that, see if you can do it? I'm pretty sure I can do it. Oh, now we got thunder and lightning. Hey. Are you videoing? So when you need to undo these bad boys, what do you do? You take and you undo it, turn pull, it the opposite pull that direction. Up, push that back. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, got it. Alright. So I would crank them down as tight, as tight as you can get them. Okay. You know, because your hair's going to let it fluctuate a little bit, so you, know, you definitely don't want to lose your ride. No. Absolutely. Okay, so hook this up, you know, if you ever hooked up a trailer. I'm not, not really, no. Alright, so you got your chains, they're all hooked into here. Okay. Chains, are chains supposed chains. to be crossed? Uh, no. Okay. A lot of people that cross them is because their chains are a little too long, they don't want them to drag them. Oh, okay. You can cross them, it doesn't make a difference. Here's your plug in. Okay. And then your safety. I've got it wrapped around your lock here. Okay. So if this comes undone, it'll lock the trailer brakes up. Okay. That's what this is. So oh, sweet. Okay. You gotta pull the pin here, get that out of there, lift that up to unhook it, to hook it back up. Okay. That's pretty much it. All right. Okay. Uh, not really sure what these chains are for. I thought those chains were supposed to hook up to your. Uh, pretty sure they're supposed to try to. Hook a safety up. chain, so you probably hook yeah. up to here. To the Jeep. And they need to be a little loose, they say. A little loose? Yeah. This is my first one I've done. Oh, so okay. Well, well, there's I no more left in the inventory, so you probably won't have to do it again. Not this year. Do you guys sell quite it's a few of these? Um, I think we've sold three since I've been here in the last four months. Yeah, we were going to dingy tow this thing, but it's so much more expensive. Alright, so he needs to find a good place to hitch it underneath the yep. vehicle. Yep, and he just latches it to the chain. And then just going around your bottom A arm. Okay. So 
so that's just in case it does fall off. Okay. okay. All right, so you want to figure out what to do inside there, and then okay. get the tire. Put it in neutral and you're good to go. Okay, I just put it in neutral. So I'm but don't you have to do something to the steering wheel? I, I've already key on. Well, you can as long as the steering turns. I, the steering will turn, but I did put uh, put the steering or the uh, uh, my uh, seat belt through the bottom so it wouldn't steer too much. So it'll go a little bit. It's loose. The uh, steering wheel. It's loose, but not too loose. Because this is a rear wheel drive, so. tear your steering wheel off. If that locks up and it's turning and it pulls on your steering wheel, I wouldn't do that. No. Okay. But yeah, all you got to do is throw it in neutral now and you're good to go. Okay, I think we're in neutral. Okay. okay check it out. Uh, I'll throw this one back. All right. Cool. Well, we need to get air Thank in the you. tires. Just a little air. I'll, uh, I can, I can do that. Okay. Unless you guys want to stop and get it somewhere. No, let's get it done now before we take off, just since we're not used to it. And we got to pay up anyway, so. I think it says. Um, the warranty says like 60 65. 65. Yeah. So. Okay. It so looks close. Yeah. Well, we'll go. I'll go grab a gauge and I'll okay. fill up an air tank and I'll come down okay. and fill it up for you. Okay. And the keys are in the. Keys are still in there. Okay, yep. sweet. Okay, you hey, thanks go for your help. Settle up and I'll go inside and check it out. Sure. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. It probably wouldn't hurt since those straps are 